So what I began to do was embark on a journey of scholarship and intuition and mixing the two. We know nothing about, as Americans, we do not know about the original mothers of Islam. Nearly every night, Aisha runs out to a lava field. She hurries through the reek of goats, her shawl flapping. When she reaches the well edge, she leans over, screams into the stone darkness with the lost voice of Sarah, of Hajar, of Mariam, with the pain of all the women who love the one whose tongue and heart belongs to God. I'm involved with American mystical Sufism, which is multi-denominational. Most of us think of uh, Sufism as being a kind of flower of Islam. I prefer to think of it as a flower of the heart. supported by a circle of women. One woman, Khadija, he was married to for 25 years. This is called Khadija. He said, cover me. I can't bear what I've seen and heard. Now that was stunning to me. He went to the woman for comfort. She said, you are safe now. He said nothing. She said, rocking him. I'm womb-rooted and sure, tell me. He said nothing for a long time. Then he said, I was squeezed and forced to recite. A terrifying being filled the sky, told me, you are God's prophet, and I am Gabriel. She said nothing. She said, the power of his language in your unschooled mouth will bring your camel to her knees and much of the world. These verses you speak will be repeated for more than a thousand years. This I know. Look to your heart. Muhammad was a cool one, now Muhammad is lit, burning like a bonfire, hanging from a high wire, wing whacked by some angel flag, cover to cover, the book entire, you better state your position because you've got a mission to stir things up. You know, when I started doing that, whoa! <laughs> <laughs>